Okay, so let's just go A and send delete and we can bring in any objects. I'm just gonna use this monkey head and then we can go to the modifier properties, click add modifier and go to physics and go to ocean. So now we have our ocean plane. So let's uh, customize it so we can change the resolution and render. Set that to 16. And if you open up this wave section here, we can set the wind velocity to either three, four, or five, or any other number depending on how you want your waves to look. So I found that in my case, five is a nice number. And if you want the waves to be moving in one direction, you can also set the alignment to 0 0.3. And just to show you real quick, if you animate this time value here, if you go hash frame divided by 20, you already have a nice uh, ocean animation. So let's just uh, reset this alignment to zero and also set the time here to zero. And um, yeah, so let's loop this uh, ocean modifier. So to do this, we're just gonna bring up the timeline and we're just gonna insert a bunch of keyframes into this uh, ocean modifier. And um, yeah, it's pretty much the same way you animate materials in a loopy way as well, but slightly different when it comes to modifiers. So just follow along and you'll be fine. So let's just go to the time here and just uh, hover your mouse over and go. Um, all right, like that. And then we're gonna go to the last frame and we can set this to five and then go I again then go back to the first frame and we're gonna animate the scale. So make sure this is set to zero and then go I and then we're gonna go to the last frame again and then go one and then go I. So the next step here is to duplicate this ocean modifier. So let's just bring that in and go and duplicate it. And here we need to change the geometry from generate to displace, then go to the first frame. And then we are going to set this time here to five. So just go I and then go to the last frame and set this to 10 and then go I. And then we're going to start this scale here with one at the first frame. So just go I like that and to the last frame and then set this to zero like that. So a little bit back and forth there. That is the way to loop this ocean modifier. So if we just hover our mouse over the timeline, right click and change this interpolation mode to linear. You can see now when this blue line reaches the end, the animation just continues in a nice loopy, the loopy way.